Hi guys, last week I gave you a challenge problem. It was just for fun, so I hope it didn't stress you out too much. Um, but you were supposed to do this problem, try to sketch out this composite figure, which is what we were focusing on last week, and then show your drawing and explain your answer for the area of that composite figure on Flipgrid. So I hope you did it. I hope you did an awesome job. I hope that it wasn't too challenging for you. So I'm gonna walk you through how to actually solve that one. Um, it says sketch this shape, a pentagon sitting on a square. So uh, the key keyword there is sitting on a square. Um, square has four congruent sides that measure four centimeters each. Four congruent sides means con congruent means equal sides. They are all the same length. So on your square, each side of the square should have been four centimeters long. And then it says the pentagon has four sides that measure 3.5 and one side that measures four. The height from the base of the Pentagon to the top point of the Pentagon is five centimeters. Sketch it and figure out what the area is. So let's flip over here. I'm gonna stop for a second and flip over to my camera and show you how to solve this guy. Okay, you should have had a figure that looked something like this, right? You've got your square with a Pentagon sitting on top of it. So I'm just gonna label the dimensions here. It said the square had four congruent sides with each side measuring four. And then it said for the pentagon, which remember a pentagon is just a five sided shape. I see that my lines aren't exactly perfect here, but our measurements are still gonna be what it said our measurements would be. So it said that four sides of the pentagon measured three and a half and one side measured four. Well, we know that the one side that measures four is the base that it sits on because that also shares a side with that square that had all four congruent sides measuring four. So that means that this side is 3.5, that they are all, all the other ones are 3.5, right? And then the final measurement that it gave us was that the height of the pentagon from the base to the point, put my little mark there, was five. All right, so how am I gonna solve for the area? Well, I can do this square down here really easy. Um, squares, to find the area, it's base times height or length times width, so it's four times four which equals 16, the rate of uh, unit of measurement was centimeters, so 16 centimeters squared. And now I can do this one right here. I'm gonna divide this across, okay? And so now I have for this square here, the dimensions of four by three and a half, area equals base times height, so area equals the base is four times the height is 3.5. I'm gonna get my calculator and do this math. Okay, so four times 3.5 equals 14. Okay, and now all I have left to figure out is this triangle that is at the top here. And you guys know <clears throat> that to solve for the area of a triangle, it's area equals half of base times height. So we've got area equals half of the base, which this base is congruent to this base. They are the same length. So it's four, this is four, times the height. So we have to figure out what this height is. Well, we know how much height is here. We know how tall this is because it's the same as these sides, which is three and a half. So this in total measures five. This section from here to here is 3.5. So how long then is this section? It has to equal five total. So from here to this point, we want 3.5, or we should say 5, minus 3.5. I put that in wrong. 5 minus 3.5. Try that again. Why is it doing that? There we go. 1.5.
So just to kind of recap, 1.5 plus 3.5 equals 5. And that's what it told us the height was from the base to the point was 5. So that's how we get our 5. So to continue this with the area of the triangle, we have half of the base, which is 4, times the height, which is 1.5. So we can go ahead and put that in our calculator. We can do 4 times 1.5 equals 6 divided by 2 because we only want half of it, 3. So the area equals 3 centimeters squared. Make sure we have our labels on all of this. And now we can just put it together. We have um, 3 plus 14 plus 16. So you should get area equals 33 centimeters squared. 3 plus 14 plus 16. All right, I hope you guys did it. I hope you did, did a good job. I can't wait to look at your flip grids. Thank you for trying if you did. Have a great day, guys.